My message remains the same for the remainder of the week. Stay home, stay to your bubble, maintain physical, uh, physical distancing, and let's double down this week to maintain this uh, good run of numbers. I've just come from a meeting of the Australian National Cabinet, a gathering of Australia's state and federal leaders to discuss uh, our uh, experience with COVID-19 on both sides of the ditch, what we can learn from one another, and how uh, we might be able to work together as we recover um, from this pandemic. Australians and New Zealanders travel across the ditch more than they do anywhere else. New Zealand is Australia's second largest source of tourists after China, with 1.2 million visitors last year and 1.6 million Aussies visited us. So we both stand to benefit from getting travel up and running again. Actually, there are, there are a lot of similarities in the way that we have um, each tried to manage COVID and get on top of it and get back in control. And therefore, there's the same goals for both of us. Um, neither of us want cases of COVID coming between our countries. Neither of us would want the burden of that. So uh, I think regardless um, of our future path, we'll be looking for ways to do it safely. The, the whole purpose of us discussing the possibility uh, of having a, a bubble of sorts between us, a safe zone of travel, would be so that you wouldn't have to have a quarantine attached. I think everyone would acknowledge that it would be prohibitive. People just wouldn't travel if they had to stay on either side in quarantine um, for, uh, for a two week period and have to do the same again when you return. Uh, but there is still a lot of work to be done before we can progress an idea like that.